hello hello and welcome to my channel yeah so today i have made this artisanal spread for you so you can watch the process when i'm making it and i'm just gonna <laughs> talk about and explain a bit of what i'm doing when i'm working and uh, yeah what materials i use so i'm uh, i have bought some new papers from stamperia i was so inspired by a friend um, she's really talented she's uh, her channel is called Eletheia's journal I can link it below if you're interested and she bought some new things from Stamperia and I was so <laughs> inspired so I had to do it myself so this is a stamp set from Stamperia and uh, it's called vintage travel so I'm deciding to use some stamping today and I am not really good at stamping. I should use maybe or I should get myself a stamping uh, station or what the, whatever they are called. Uh, but I kind of manage anyway. So I stamped the different um, motifs here. And as you can see, I'm just coloring them in with some watercolors. And this, uh, this is my uh, palette from uh, Winsor Newton with watercolors. So I'm just going to speed it up, uh, of course I all, almost always speed it up, but I'm going to skip some parts too, because coloring in can be some tedious process to, to watch. So, so these I just add some paint on, and then of course I'm fussy cutting them, and not on camera, but... Um, so now I'm deciding, I'm just uh, add, adding my color can't speak today my clear gesso first to protect the papers and then I'm using it as a glue also and adding the motifs the pieces that I have fussy cut and this is um, a paper pad from Stamperia that I also bought and it's called Lady let's see what is it called yeah Lady Vagabond it's called and it has so many nice uh, papers in them in it <laughs> in them uh, so I really like that pad I really shouldn't have bought it because uh, I don't know you have too many things don't you <laughs> don't we all so now I'm just adding the different pieces both from my stamping and from the vintage uh, pad so another layer of my transparent just so just to protect it and now I'm adding my watercolors again and I have no clear idea of the colors but I'm going for kind of beige brown and some petrol blue in the end I love those colors so I'm just mixing some blue and green together to get a nice nuance and here it is So I'm really intuitive when I work. I don't plan anything. <laughs> so I'm just letting the work um, speak for itself, kind of decide for itself. And of course I'm using my heat tool to, to dry the pages because I have no patience to wait. And now I'm using the stamps again with some um, brown ink because I don't feel I want black on this spread I will keep <laughs> keep the brown nuances and also for shading I will use my Inktense pen color bark you see here just for some shading around the objects to make them look more 3d and pop out more so that's what I'm doing and of course afterwards I just add some water to make it look smoother and the transitions and the shading and now I'm using um, I think it's an adding pen just to make some white splashes and dots because my poscas are out at the moment I think I have more but I can't really find them at the moment so this is another this is my uniball post no not posca uniball signal pen 
I don't know what it is today. I can't really speak. And I found a quote in the paper pad that says, leave the road, take the trails. And I like that. So I'm just adding it also and shading it a bit. And then I actually think this is done. I don't want to overdo it too much. Um, could have stamped some more or added, added some more colors or something, but I didn't really want to. Um, I think this is my style more. I was thinking of adding some more white, my white gesso maybe, to smoothen the spread out, but I didn't want to today. So this is the finished piece and I hope you enjoyed my kind of chaotic process and my chaotic um, narration. <laughs> uh, so yeah, so if you're interested, watch for the look out for the new Stamperia kits. They are awesome. I love them. I always like Stamperia's designs. I don't know why. I just do. So thank you for watching today and please leave a like and a comment if you want to and subscribe also if you want to see more. I have a lot of videos. So stay safe out there and take care and bye.